Well, just a, a, a great opportunity for us in the in the Republican Party to stand with our governor. Uh, I, I think people realize that uh, over the last three and a half years that the governor has and the lieutenant governor have been leading the Commonwealth, that, that there's been a lot of positive uh, things happening. I mean, what he's done in regards to the opiate crisis, what he's done in regards to the MBTA, those are real uh, impacts that, that I think you, you've seen. And, and I think that's why when you look around, poll after poll, he's considered the most popular governor in America. And I just think, and this is, again, a Republican governor and probably one of the bluest of blue states. He gives everybody a seat at the table, and I think that's why he's been successful. So to me, uh, we're excited. We're excited to stand with the governor, the lieutenant governor, and I just think this is kind of like the kickoff of what's going to happen in November. And uh, I know some folks say, some Republicans are saying, well, those polls uh, reflect a lot of Democratic support. They view that as a negative. Uh, is, that a, is that a negative or a positive? Is that it's, it's, it's clearly a positive. You know, when you're the governor of the Commonwealth, you represent everybody. And you can't just represent one party, you represent everyone. And that's what's unique about uh, Governor Charlie Baker, is he's made it clear that he is going to represent everyone. No matter where you live, he's going to fight for you. And he's done that. And so, yeah, you know, sometimes you, you, know, you have it, but you know, Democrats, but most of the people in Massachusetts are unenrolled. They're unenrolled because, you know, they want the person. And Charlie Baker has been that person. Um, it, 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 to me, it's it's pretty evident for someone to, you know, to, to see that as, as, you know, democratic as Massachusetts has been in, in many other ways, to have a governor uh, who's a Republican and yet to have that kind of support uh, strikes as that, that he's found that balance in making sure that everyone has a seat at the table. All right. Thank you, Senator. Thank you.